Come along on a trip in Japan as we get behind the wheel. Notable places and interesting people are waiting just off the beaten path. We start our journey in Kagoshima Prefecture at Kyushu Southern Tip. Our first destination is Sakurajima, a volcano that towers over Kagoshima Bay. Sakurajima is known for its frequent eruptions. Thanks to this region's volcanic activity, it's dotted with hot springs that the Japanese call onsen. Visit an onsen and experience the power of the earth with your whole body. Looking for surprises and excitement? You've come to the right place. Let's hit the road. Let's head for Sakurajima and some onsen fun. It's a 10 minute drive from Kagoshima Chuo Station to the ferry terminal. Welcome, I'm your navigation system. I can guide you to the wonders Japan has to offer. We depart from Kagoshima City. Do you notice something about these streetcar tracks? They're planted with grass. The grass helps keep things cooler and quieter. It's a city initiative. The ocean has come into view. And rising above it, Sakurajima. Sakurajima has two peaks, Kitadake and Minamidake. See those gray clouds? Minamidake is erupting right now. About 3,600 people live on the island. We're a short drive from a wonderful spot to view Sakurajima. Powerful feudal lords of this region resided here over 300 years ago, a testament to a bygone era. For centuries, they entertained countless guests in this garden facing magnificent Sakurajima. The volcano has always had a special place in people's hearts. Let's continue along the coast road. And there's the ferry terminal. You can drive right onto the ferry, so I'll be riding along. The cruise to Sakurajima only takes about 15 minutes, but it's one of the highlights of the drive.
桜島は現在噴火活動をしているので避難する手段として24時間体制で運行しております。Hawaii, aloha. <laughs> Everybody in Hawaii who's been to Kagoshima said you must go there. Yeah, stunning. We have a hotel right on the water, so we can see over to it. It looks amazing. And here we are on Sakurajima. I'd like to show you an onsen near here, but first, why don't we loop around the island on the coast road? Let's see how the island's people live with an active volcano. Do you know what that is there on the left? It's not a bus stop, it's an eruption shelter. There are 32 of these shelters on the island, spaced a kilometer apart. That's a cemetery coming up on the left. The graves are roofed over to protect them from volcanic ash. Let's back up. This is the entrance to a shrine. Most shrine gates don't look like this. This gate used to be three meters high, but only part of it is visible now. It was buried in a major eruption more than a century ago. いやこのまま残そうっていうことで地域のやっぱり守り守り神ですね。We've made our way around the island. Our next stop is that onsen I promised to show you. This unusual hot spring is free of charge. It's one of the biggest of its kind in Japan. Enjoy!
桜島はご存知のように爆発しますと後輩が降ります後輩をあの、ま、陶芸の中の上薬の中に混ぜ込んでそれで焼き上げたのがこの桜島の溶岩焼きになります深い味わいといいますかですね入れいい感じで仕上がっていると思いますお待たせいたしましたのまあ土壌でまあ水はけも良くてまあ非常にまあさつまいもを植えるにあたってまあ適したあの土壌だと思っております。It's hard to grow crops in this type of soil, but sweet potatoes are an exception. They're also drought resistant. Today, Kagoshima is Japan's largest sweet potato producer. At Ibusuki Onsen. Look at the steam rising from the beach. Geothermal water is flowing just beneath the sand. Thanks to this. You can bury your body in the sand with just your face poking out, like you may have done as a child, for a relaxing spa experience. This is Asunamushi Onsen, or Hot Sand Spa. For five hours across 90 kilometers, we explored places most tourists miss. Now, enjoy your hot sand bath! ではこちらに着替えていただきます下着も全部脱いで浴衣1枚だけに着替えてください